What's up everybody? Joe White here at the uh, Loves. Can y'all see that sign right there? The Loves. And why is it blinking? Well, because it's not. Those are old CRT lights. That Loves light does not blink and neither do those gas prices and fuel prices. We're at the Loves in Bellefontaine, Ohio. And uh, let me scale this back to one time. And I'm here with the It's WrestleMania Saturday. Hell of a stand and deliver. Glad Carmelo Hayes got the belt and took it off Braun Breaker. If Braun Breaker's not moving up to the main roster, I want to see a heel turn. Given what his father did, oh God. But anyway, that has nothing to do with him. Um, I want to give do a short little video here Ugh, almost dropped the phone do a little short video here giving my Wrestlemania Night 1 predictions and uh, kicking off the show is Theory versus John Cena Theory needs to win if John Cena wins that match then it proves WWE even under the Triple H regime does not know how to produce new stars this is how you make a star you put Theory over, and you put him over cleanly. Uh, Braun Strowman and Ricochet versus the Street Profits versus the Alpha Academy versus the Viking Raiders. I could care less about this match. But, again, we're going to make some stars here. We're going to put the Viking Raiders over in this one. Um... Everybody expects Braun Strowman and Ricochet to win it, but I think that you could, you could, you know, pull a, pull out a, a, a surprise upset here and have the Viking Raiders win. Trish, Lita, and Becky Lynch versus the Damage Control, which is uh, Dakota Kai, Io Sky, and Bailey. Damage Control needs the win. Damage control needs the win. I think you put the women's tag champs over strongly. Um, Trish, Lita, and Becky, they can afford to lose this one. But I think the damage control needs the win here. Ray versus Dominic Mysterio. Ray going in the Hall of Fame. Here's a. I think that we're going to see some Damian Priest interference here. Uh, maybe even Finn Balor interference here. We won't see Rhea Ripley. I don't think we'll see Mommy out here because Mommy has a match later on, in, on up the card. But I think Dominic needs to win here. And, you know, after the Hall of Fame last night, he did not give Rey Mysterio a standing ovation. He walked out before Rey started his speech, which was great. I think Dominic needs to win here, man. And there have been rumors going around that this may be Rey Mysterio doing a retirement bit. Or maybe he unmasks himself at the end of this. Because that's what luchadors do when they retire. They take the mask off. Um, sometimes. Not all the time. But uh, I think Dominic gets the win. I don't think he goes over clean. Um, but I think Dominic gets the win, and maybe this feud continues. This is going to be the sleeper match of the night right here. I think this is going to be one of the mini matches that we'll be talking about. Um, they're going to tear it down. And I, I think that they've been planning this for a long time. It's been a slow build. I've liked the build. I've liked the, the Dominic Mysterio heel turn and everything. I love it. But I think Dominic needs to win. Again, we're going to create stars here, people. You know, Hollywood. WrestleMania going Hollywood. We're all about stars in Hollywood. Let's create some. Let's make some stars. And if I'm Rey Mysterio and I'm in this match, I'm telling these people I'm putting my son over. You're going to make him earn it. It's going to be a barn burner. Sleeper match of the night. That's my match of the... That, that, that right there is my pick for match of the night right there, man. Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul. I could care less about this match, but I have Seth Rollins going over because I just... He needs the win. He needs it. 
Logan Paul's not going to be there after WrestleMania. We probably won't see Logan Paul again until the next overseas gimmick that they do. Whether it be Saudi Arabia or Money in the Bank in the UK. But I think uh, I think Seth Rollins gets the gets the Duke. Charlotte versus Rhea Ripley. This is Rhea Ripley's night, guys. Rhea Ripley's going over. Rhea Ripley's winning the title. That guy there just lost his shoe. <laughs> My shoe. <laughs> anyway, that's why you don't wear slippers in the middle of fucking wintertime. Anyway, Rhea Ripley goes over. It's going to be a good match, I think, too. If Charlotte can can come out of her shell and, and work. And actually work. I think Rio will get it out of her either way. The Usos versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens for the WWE Undisputed Tag Team Titles. We know how this is going down. We know how this is going down. Sami Zayn and KO, they're scheduled to open, the, they're, they're scheduled to close the show. They should close the show. You get that feel good mo moment at the end of night one. And, uh,. Yeah, it's going to be a damn good match. Who's, the, the, these poor guys are going to pull it out of each other. They're going to give you all they got. It's going to be one hell of a night. going to be one hell of a pay-per-view. The only match I think is going to be a dud. is that Fatal 4-Way Tag Match. Everything else looks awesome. Looks like it ought to be on night one. I maybe would have stuck... I maybe would have swapped out Ray and Dom for the Hell in a Cell between Edge and, and uh, the Balor and put Ray and Dom on night two. But uh, overall, I like the way they're booking things. Vince McMahon, a photo leaked of him with the mustache. I, I, uh, I texted some people and told them Vince McMahon with that mustache and that bad dye job looks like a... Uh, Looks like he's going to be offering teenage girls candy out of his van after the in the parking lot after the show. But uh, can you hear? See, I can't. Goddamn! Come here, little girl. Goddamn, pal. Come here. What do you want? Snickers? I got Snickers in here for you. Come on. Ha ha ha! Come on. I got that white chocolate for you. Come on. Get in the van. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Come on, pal. Get in the goddamn van. Come on. <laughs> oh, Lord. If he doesn't keep... If, if, if he doesn't watch himself, he'll be living in a van down by the river. Anyway, folks, if you see a big rig on the road, give us lots of room. Do not tailgate us. Let us over if we need to get over. Go the speed limit, people. That's my biggest pet peeve out here in the last few months is people not wanting to go the speed limit. It's dangerous to go below the speed limit to me. You know, when the speed limit is 70 miles an hour and you're in a pickup truck that can do every bit of it, yet you're holding a big 80,000 pound big rig up and I got to slam on my brakes because I'm inching towards you and you're only going 45 in a 70, something's wrong. Remember, if you can't see our mirrors, we can't see you and we'll see you. Down the road. Got that, Paul. Get in the van. I got tic tacs for you. Ha ha ha.